Hello and welcome back to another quick video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. This time I'm continuing our new player guides. This is a follow-up from the previous HUD or HUD uh, heads-up display guide that I did for new players. And I thought I'd just make this addendum because there are several things you can do with your UI and we're going to explore those in uh, a number of different videos. But this one in particular is quite helpful indeed for new players and old players alike. You'll notice then that here's the UI we set up previously, pretty much, although, you know, some slight changes. This is my main character. You'll notice on the right side, I have this incredible habit of stacking uh, HUD elements, all these hot bars together, just so that I can switch between classes faster, basically. That's basically what this is all for. I also have some emotes that I like to use over here. I also have some mounts and bits like this. Now this is not ideal and there are ways to tidy this up. One of the easiest ways to tidy this up is to actually just hide it all. Now conventionally you would have to go into the HUD menu and you have to right click on stuff to hide it, right? You could hide all of this stuff if you wanted to, no problem. But we don't want to do that. That's, that's a lot of effort to go into a HUD menu just to hide stuff. So what I've done instead is I've created two little buttons down here. This is basically everything back on and this is off. And we can press that button and all of this disappears. These buttons are still technically here. They're not clickable at all in any way, shape or form, but you can see that we've gained this massive amount of real estate on the right side of our screen as well as having all of this left side as well. Now we could even make this go even further but one of the things is having this on off switch is just incredibly useful and as you can see it doesn't matter what class i switch to i can turn that off and on again simple as that so how exactly did i do that this is a very simple thing i'm going to show you so the first thing you want to do is find yourself a hot bar you're not using for example this is hot bar seven that I'm using for this on off switch. That's the first thing. So if we go into our character configuration and go to hotbar settings, you'll find there's a number seven here, right? You'll be able to turn if this is a shared one or not. Now hotbar seven, we want to definitely be a shared hotbar so that no matter what job I switch to, this hotbar does not change. If I untick this then I, and I change back to white mage or whatever, this would basically be specifically for that job, if that makes sense. So that's how shared hotbars work. I want to have, sorry, here, uh, I want to have it shared so that every single job has access to this bar. If I untick it, then only whatever job I switch to um, with that stuff on, we'll have that, those things. That's how you enable sharing between hotbars. Okay, simple as that. The second thing then is obviously to enable that bar and bring that down a little bit. Um, what we've done here is I've moved this down here for those icons and we've made this uh, 80%. Now you can put this anywhere you want on the screen. You can make this in any order you want, any orientation. You can place this, you know, anywhere you want any way you want it doesn't really matter you can even have this turn off and on as well but let's not get carried away so the thing is then you might be wondering how exactly do these uh do these buttons work how do they work so this is basically what you need so if we go into escape go to your user macros i've created two down here this is quite common, there's lots of guides on this. Um, shout out specifically to Work to Game, as well as a bunch of other people who have done intensive guides on hotbar customization. I just thought I'd do one of my own, why not? So here we go, we've got the up arrow, we've called this, and um, you know, the duty list, it doesn't matter what you name them. If you click on the actual icon of a macro, say for instance when we're making a new one, you can switch between whatever icon you want. You can also use uh, M icon uh, slash M icon and then space with something yourself. Like, for example, we have the cheer emote on this one. But anyway, so you create yourself a new macro. And what you want to have on this is whatever title you want. So we're going to let's, let's rename this to uh, to hide. Yeah. And then we'll rename this one to show. Yeah. Easy peasy. So that's show and hide. Nicely, easily labeled there. So this is what you want. 
Right, so the first macro then to hide things, we're doing slash hotbar display. So there's a slash hotbar space display space and then the number and then on and off, right? So that's a toggle switch, but you can also have these off, right? You can have them off. You can also make a toggle switch, but I prefer having two buttons because some things you want to add to this might not want to be on a toggle switch like this. So there we go, simple as that. Uh, we could even change this just to off, which would make more sense in this particular situation. So that's all that is. And then we create another macro, which is show. Uh, again, we don't need this on off switch. I was just putting that there to demonstrate that you could have a toggle switch with just one button if you wanted to. And then we call this one show. And that's hot by display nine, hot bar display eight. Now, other things that you can add to this as well. Say, for instance, you didn't want you see these buttons up here. We could turn those as off as well. So what we would do is is slash. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh yeah, there's a duty list as well. So we could do slash hood uh, duty list, and then we could have that as off. For example, that's another thing we could turn off if we wanted to. So that would turn off our duty list if we had a bunch of uh, quests or whatever. We could also add um, the scenario guide, right? We could HUD scenario uh, guide off, right? We could have that. We could have, uh, what else could we have? All sorts of different things, really. But you name it, basically there is a way of turning it off. Oh yeah, um, HUD um, mini mini map off. We could have the mini map off as well. But no matter what you do here, you want to copy this, basically, the things that you've added. You want to add to here in the opposite as well. So we've got offs, and then we've got the ons, right? And then we just copy paste that in. So that way, when we have these macros dragged to a bar, yeah, we can hide things just like that and bring them back with a touch of a button. Um, but what we've not done there, you see the big error here, is a massive error is we haven't changed this to on on the second one. So let's put on, not oin, <laughs> my spelling, on, on. There we go, simple. So now we have a hide button for everything, including the minimap, as well as now a show button, right? Off, on. Now obviously you might want different buttons, so like you hide your minimap with a different button, you can totally do that. That's the simplicity of using macros to customize your HUD. Um, do we actually have any quests that we can track? There we go. Let's track this, there you go. Let's, let's just show a few quests on this list. This is my duty list. Again, we can have that hidden. Or shown we can even get rid of this as well which is your menu but it's just a simple case of adding that to our macro but it's as simple as that really one of the thing, things I do like to have though is um, this stuff separately like that if we're hiding the minimap the duty list and scenario guide I want that on a separate macro honestly or a separate button but um, personally I have them just like that because the main thing is I want ease of use, right? I want to switch between whatever jobs I want to, especially when I'm live streaming, but I don't want to have this massive bulk showing because it's used up uh, real estate, right? You don't want that real estate there so we can get rid of it. Simple. I don't mind having the mini map and, and the duty list shown, but uh, you know, and then if I want to switch back to another job, I just bring that panel out, press a button, and then hide it again. Simple as that. Very simple guide. Hopefully that was helpful. I know some people do prefer quick videos. Hopefully this has added something to you. But uh, as I say, these are the macros on screen for you. This is for hiding things. Yeah, you just put your slash hotbar, space, display, space, the number of the hotbar, space, and then off. Yeah, and then make sure you do the same, but with an on, right? And you can change this icon to whatever you want, right? There's there's all sorts of icons. You can also do M icon and have a th other things. Now, this is just a tip of the iceberg. There are many other things we can do. We can create menus that pop out. So that will be probably the next thing we look at. But I just wanted to show you a simple on-off switch 
for hiding elements of your UI. Maybe you want to tidy things up, um, but you want something messy that you can just quickly hide as well. Well, hopefully that helps. But yeah, let me know what you think about this. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. In the next uh, guide of this sort of type, we'll probably make some extended menus for you so you can uh, get used to that. Pop out screens. And then we'll see you all next time. Much love.